Hello, uh, I thought I'd do a video just to show my CD shelving unit that uh, that I use. Um, I've been looking for like a, a unit to put my CDs on for for a long time, and because um, I've I was keeping my CDs in different locations, and I I thought it's about time I kept them together because I wasn't keeping them in any order. I want to keep them tidy. I do play CDs quite a lot, although my vinyl is my my um, sort of my main thing that I listen to music on. But uh, uh, I do buy a lot of CDs, and I seem to be buying a lot more CDs lately than vinyl for sure. Certainly in this this particular year, uh, because I'm noticing vinyl prices on on the used market as well appear to have gone up for the titles that i've been looking for so i've been able to buy new or used cds for like a pound less than that and um it, and it, it's been you know it's been good and all of a sudden my cd collection has increased i've got a unit you know i couldn't i tried online to look for something that would be ideal to, uh, to to buy so I could put together but eventually it was uh, a case of going to the local wood merchants and getting some MDF uh, and if you go to a good merchants uh, they will uh, and if you could ask they, they will look to try and cut things to size provided you got all your measurements right and you know exactly what you want you go in there with uh, with like a drawing of, of what you're trying to do with the exact measurements that they they will um, uh, try and put thing cut things to size for you, but this is simply MDF. That's, that's what it is. It's a medium density fiber board. Um, I've got. Uh, I can generally fit in. I'd say is around about sixty uh, across each shelf, and I've got. 10 shells here so there's I could potentially accommodate 600 CDs in this one unit um, the actual materials I can't remember but it cost me around about 40 40 pound um, and it, yeah it's been absolutely ideal I've had it for a while now so I'm, I've been really pleased with it and it's extremely solid and I'm delighted with it but um, yeah, back to like the CD thing, and I'll show you that a bit, bit go a bit closer now to the the unit itself. There you go. There we are. So there it is, from top to bottom. Um, the side, as you can see, I got a, a bit of a shelf along the top there, which is a little bit wider, and also. At the bottom, it goes wider as well, so it's it's very very stable. You know, really pleased with with it. So yeah, I mean, I I, I still buy CDs, uh, although my vinyl collection is is a, a lot more than my CD collection. I don't know how many CDs I've got there, but if I hold six hundred, I guess is probably about uh, 400 cds there possibly so yeah just i'm uh, just show really from what i got i mean i got a, quite a a wide range of stuff uh, starting with well we've got richard Ask ashcroft we've got uh, brett anderson who was in um suede uh there's a, a lot of john armor trading uh, it sounds really good, uh, John Armour Trading on CD. Um, yeah, and and some things. Oh, this one sounds excellent. I don't know if anybody got this one, but this is an excellent CD. This is um, Walter Becker's Circus Money. That also sounds fantastic. I, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that, uh, that that CD can sound absolutely wonderful, and it it uh, it really can. It's just sometimes you know you, you do buy some CDs and they haven't been uh, mastered as well 
as uh, some others. So it's just the inconsistency that can sound frustrating. But uh, I, I got like, uh, this is stuff I, I like a lot, which is can, more can, caravan. I'm a big caravan fan. Some cream there going along. Uh, then we got the cure. Uh, so next row we go into D's. We've got Nick Drake, for instance. Uh, Ian Jury and the Blockheads. Another great sounding one here, which is Donald Fagan's Morph the Cat. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Of course, Donald Fagan and Walter Becker were um, the two parts of Steely Dan. I got some Steely Dan CDs and you know, they, they sound fantastic. They really do. Uh, some Fleetwood Mac and then stuff. I, I really like um, the Canterbury Progressive Rock a scene that I'm really interested in of the Senties, some Hatfield and the North there, uh, more Hatfield and the North, PJ Harvey. Uh, so I'm, and, you know, I've got a lot of titles as well on CD that I also have on vinyl. So I uh, do some comparisons. It's quite interesting really because um, to compare how the two formats differ, some cooler shaker yeah i've got which i think i got them all on vinyl but i haven't got this one on vinyl i'm not sure if it is available but uh yeah big fan of cooler shaker that that is strange folk that album's called uh this one i've been listening to a lot again big fan of of uh khan space shanty uh yeah i've been well it's when i've been doing some little adjustments to my system and so forth there are some uh cds as well as vinyl that i use just to to compare because they, 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 i use it like as a reference then a reference point now i do really love this sound of the big drum sound that is on this particular album um i haven't got it on vinyl unfortunately uh another one for for that uh, for you know for, for like a referencing my system is, is this one it's quite a popular album daft punk random access memories i should try and get it on, on vinyl one day i'm sure but uh it does sound absolutely fantastic on a cd there um we're moving down a bit now we go into to the m's uh, some stuff I haven't played for years on you and CDs that people gave me as well. Uh, this is when I, I need to listen to again. I quite enjoyed that Johnny Ma, The Messenger, Joni Mitchell. Yeah, I like a lot of Joni Mitchell music. Again, that Canterbury scene type of um, vibe there with the matching mole. Oh, there we are. Uh, McDonald and Giles, excellent album. Um, yeah, just going through a few things here. We're going down to a, uh, I've got a lot of Radiohead. I've got a lot of the Radiohead uh, CDs on vinyl as well. So yeah, quite often like to sit down and, and, and listen to them and compare them. But um, you know, I've listened to them so much, I'm very sort of like familiar with with the. Uh, with the the albums this sounds great as well really sounds fantastic uh the pretenders i love you uh live recording fantastic some portish head we're into the letter p there so uh, we're going down now to s and always it seems my vinyl like, seem to have loads of s uh titles so we got um what we got here there's some stuff that people gave me I was, um we got this we got obviously you got steely dan the smiths a uh, soft machine again that the sort of canterbury scene uh, music that i was mentioning earlier and again i've got these on vinyl um 
Yeah, this is one I, I, I like quite a lot as well. I like playing that one. Uh, Sci-fi and lullabies. That's uh, Suede. It's one you I got inside because it doesn't fit standing up. That is uh, the Stark Reality. I don't know if anybody remembers these. But uh, yeah, I saw this and I thought, wow. I remember them from like uh, many, many years ago when I was younger on the on the television and I thought wow I I, I I bought it I really enjoy it too uh, with tea I, I do a big fan of talk talk again I've got all the vine, uh, albums on vinyl um, there's a lot of talk talk on you on CD and the CD that sounds very good too but uh, yeah the reason why I buy uh, some CDs because I'm just finding the prices really of some of vinyls and used vinyls as well. I've got up quite a bit. Now I've got a jazz section here, uh, and we 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 go from my well, you know, you've got your Dave Brubeck, Art Blakey, then we go in through John Coltrane. Again, a, a lot of these I'll have on vinyl. Uh, a load of Miles Davis, Miles Davis there. Uh, kind of blue of course and we got um, tribute to Jack Johnson working with the Miles Davis Quintet oh, there, there's loads um, Herbie Hancock a big fan of Herbie Hancock got a lot of his albums on vinyl there is so much uh, to get some things that I bought recently that I really like really enjoy that one Charles Mingus the Clown so I bought quite recently I need to give that another listen um, and we're going down then to weather report Sonny Rollins yeah big fan of weather report and so forth but back to um, I and mean, I, I I think CD can sound excellent and uh, I use uh, there's my CD player over there I've moved I don't for it before anybody says I, I don't keep my speakers here my speaker is normally situated here uh, there I've put the marker there so that's where it's going back I just put it there for the purpose of showing the videos show showing my CDs that's all so I'll be putting that uh, that speaker back um, there's my CD player over there it's a name CD5X I've had that now for I think 13 to 14 years um, I use a flat cap power supply which is on the bottom there it's behind oh, there's talk talk LP there look and a cooler shaker LP behind it so some stuff I've been playing late, uh, recently and there's the fat flat cap that's a power supply for the name CD five X, so yeah, and yeah, I'm I'm really pleased. With it. Look, it, it it's incredibly reliable. Uh, it, it sounds great. I, I really enjoy uh, listening to my CDs through it. There's my LP twelve uh, for my vinyl replay. So uh, yeah, so just pop the. phone back there just want to put my speaker back into position and that's where it was exactly i just level it up afterwards but uh no what was i saying was what i've noticed over the last 12 months is that like the price of prices of uh, vinyl records even on the used market, for the titles that I've been looking for, the, the actual prices seem to be trending upwards and um, I've not been able to get a lot of the vinyls that I would have liked. So I've managed to source the same sort of titles on CD and some like, you know, one pound less than that, some, you know, a couple of pound and... Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with a lot of the stuff I've had this year. Uh, and I, I'm not one that I have, and I do occasionally, I do have like a, 
like a, a very cheap system where I can stream uh, music but uh, and I have heard really good uh, sort of expensive streamers as well I'm not going in, into getting one as yet I really like the, the 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 sort of the whole event then of getting a record out of its sleeve putting it on my turntable listening to the album in its entirety from front to back listening to the entire album and it's a similar thing with what I do with uh, with CDs if I you know I, I like that kind of sense of occasion where I, sometimes I think wow what am I going to be playing tonight or what I'd like to hear tonight out of my collection with this vinyl or CD and I kind of plan it and then I'll come in and I'll sit down and um, then I'll play the album from, from front to back as an entire piece. Um, uh, so that's what I, I like to do with, with the streaming side of things. I was finding I was just hopping from one song to another to another sort of artist and to uh, another record off another album and so forth and not really taking it all in as much. So in terms of like uh, the the actual piece that uh, was was being produced the entire album so yeah for now you know i'm going to still focus on my vinyl and my cd um s s setup i'm not really a collector as such i don't go out to just get a specific uh sort of album it's it, if i if it's something i want i'll try and get it on vinyl if it turns out to be too much then I'll have a look to see what I can get it for on CD and I'll just, you know, that's what I'll do. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, I've picked out a couple of uh, CDs there which, which, which are examples of, of excellent quality, excellent sound quality. Uh, I'm really pleased with a lot of the jazz stuff I've got as well. Um, the stuff that I've got on, uh, here we are. For instance, here we've got uh, the Gil Evans Orchestra, Out of the Cool. This is um, on Impulse. A lot of the Impulse stuff I'm finding sounding really, really good. But, um, yeah, so some things I've, I've bought recently. Yeah, this is uh, Tony Williams. Uh, this is uh, the new Tony Williams Lifetime Believe It. I guess that I got a, a one year as well, which is happens to be next to it is uh, Weather Report Sweet Nighter. He does and that. Something I, I really enjoyed uh, recently was also I bought um oh, this one here. Really enjoyed this and really dynamic drums uh the who who's next so that sounded really good as well but uh yeah so that yeah that's basically thought i'd just do a video together and, and show my my sort of like storage unit for my cds really and uh yeah when it's when if it gets filled up and i i, I know then i can simply get it get more materials and put get another one put together so yeah in the meantime uh thanks for watching and i'll do another video soon bye bye